I know she struck out <laughs> first. You're saying there was somebody else besides Zach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So Zach was the last resort. Yeah, but he was never serious about any of them. Wasn't committed to Val. He wasn't even committed to, like, Michaela. He was just going around, sleeping with half of Houston. Welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. And I have a semi recap, semi update video for you guys with Merla and Johnny. So they were just recently at the season 15 kickoff special and they dropped some tea and a little bit of shade to some of their fellow castmates in their season but before we jump into this and kind of talk about all of this if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications you like the video smash the like button and drop a comment down below so if you saw the uh season 15 san diego kickoff this past wednesday you noticed that they had several past season and even this recent season guests well, two of those people were both Mirla and Johnny. And I was looking forward to that part. Plus, there's a couple of other things. But everything else, you know, I'm, I'm ready for these weddings and stuff to begin. Probably like more often than other folks. And this thing was three hours. So I recorded it and I just came back and tried to get what I can get out of it, to say the least. However... Um, of course, you know, Kevin being as inquisitive as he is, Kevin Frazier, he wanted to kind of get the tea and the lowdown of what was going on between the two of them, what was going on with each of them individually, and who they were with in season 13 in Houston. So let's kind of unpack what was said. So they first start off trying to figure out whether or not these two were dating because that was the running rumor mill last year when it came to these two, especially with everybody kind of swapping partners from that season. But Merla confirmed, of course, that she's not dating, nor has she ever dated Jenny Lamb from her current season. And, you know, they just really became close after the show. And then we also heard the two of them saying, you know, two people of the opposite sex can be friends and like we're just friends. But people, even after watching this past week's kickoff show, they still had doubts because they were real chummy. So here where it gets a little bit of dicey and... True to form, Kevin Frazier had to bring up the subject of Gil. As we remember everything that happened with Mirla and Gil, you know, her being portrayed as high maintenance, he being portrayed as a little bit more frugal and controlling of, you know, his finances and what goes in and comes out. It became one of the biggest storylines that season. Now, he had at the reunion, he remember we heard the story of him selling everything he had to move in together and then according to what we saw in the reunion you know he pretty much uh lost everything from the way that it sounded however she was provided the opportunity in the kickoff special to you know kind of speak her piece and her side of the story and this is where the tea comes out and it gets a little bit of shade as well she said on the kickoff special, because Kevin had asked her exactly what did Gil lie about? Because as far as he known, you know, Gil appears to make a good living. She was like, I don't care how much you make. Uh, if you don't manage your money well and you can't make your rent, yeah, that's a problem. She said, we are 35 and 36. We're not 22. I have never not paid my rent on time in my entire life. 
And she, you know, she went on to say that the rent issue was a big part of why she decided to end the marriage to Gil. Although there were also a couple of more things that led to the breakup of their relationship. And she said also to her, it was just the dishonesty and the fact that he didn't think there was anything wrong about it. And he did not apologize. And she said, like, really, Gil? So, you know, Mirla said, you know, the misconceptions about her from the show, you know, that she's high maintenance and unwilling, you know, uh, to uh, compromise is actually not correct. She also said that she's a pretty chill person, but, you know, she has apparently moved on from Gil and she says she is actively dating. So, you know, there's always three sides to a story, his side, her side, and the truth. And We'll probably never get down to what actually truly happened because the stories are so different and so separate. But let's talk about this scenario. So now it was Johnny's turn and he had a little bit of tea and shade as well. So if you guys remember the reunion episode when Bao and Zach got together, you know, they were asked how did Michaela and Johnny take the news and, you know, have they spoken to them and you know, they was like, well, I really don't know. And honestly, I really don't care. So Kevin asked Johnny, you know, whether or not they were solid and whether this was a real thing. Johnny was like, I never thought that it was a real thing. You know, Kevin was like, wait a minute. You didn't think it was a real thing? He was like, no. You don't think there was any natural attraction because they proclaimed that they had a relationship like, and Johnny was like, well, I think they proclaimed that they had a lot of things. And he was like, really? And he said, well, I actually think that Bao was looking for anyone else that she could probably get on that season. And he also said, I know she struck out first. And of course, Kevin was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was somebody else besides Jack and I mean, Zach and Johnny was like, oh, oh, yeah. And then, of course, you know, we wanted to hear the tea and, you know, they wanted to hear the tea as well. And so he revealed that even though he think it was a one sided thing, he think that she liked Ryan. But Ryan, of course, did not reciprocate. And so, you know, he was like, well, I think she's just going to go with him first. And then, of course, the only person that was left for her to get was Zach. And then he brought up the whole thing about Zach. And you guys know the situation when it comes to that. If you haven't seen the video that I posted back on December 1st, 2021, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so he pretty much was like Zach was the last resort, but he was never serious about any of them. He wasn't committed to Bao. He wasn't committed to Michaela. And we all saw that there was nothing there with that. But the way um, Johnny was describing it, he was just going around sleeping with everybody in Houston. I'm like, man, he didn't hold his tongue back, did he? And so pretty much that was the highlight of everything. You know, the biggest thing is that, you know, they well, everybody was wondering if they ever had a relationship. Are they dating now? They debunked that even though people to this day still don't believe that Johnny and Mirla have not either tried to maybe attempt, but we will never know the truth. But it was definitely buzzing back in 2021 then of course this whole thing about gil and him not being able to pay rent on time and that was her biggest deal breaker you know when it comes to that now like i said there's multiple sides to the story because we've heard gil's side about you know selling everything to move in with her and she broke up with him and he was left pretty much with nothing and then of course her side of the story is because of the fact that he wasn't paying rent on time. I don't care how much money you have, how much money you make. If you're not mature enough to manage your money, it's a deal breaker for her. Because she threw age in it. I'm 30 this. He's 30 that. We're not 22. So now, is it? does she mean that he paid the rent two, three days after the due date? Because I know some people sometimes try to push it to the fifth. We all know. Or was this something where he was 15 to 30 days late? We'll never know. And nobody, you know, I don't even know if that's going to come up at this point. Then this whole thing with 
bow, meaning that, you know, she had an interest in Zach. I mean, I mean, an interest in Ryan, I'm sorry. And then Zach is the last resort. And then, of course, we all know the story that really blew up all over social media with that young lady who did all of the interviews with some of my fellow content creators about Zach's behavior and women coming out saying that he was with me and he was with me and all this was supposedly going on while he and Bao were dating last summer. So it was crazy. I thought it was pretty interesting. This three hour episode to me was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I was glad to see Elijah Wan and Katina, Stephen Noy. I've already done separate videos about these two. And then of course I was looking forward to seeing Johnny and Mirla and see what they had to, you know, to had to say, and they did not disappoint. I will say that, but Merit at First Sight, if you ever listen to any of my videos, cut the season down let's just get to the weddings already you know i mean three hours for that and then we gotta wait a whole nother week before we can actually get into the season so, so a lot of you guys probably didn't watch it you know as a content creator i wanted to try to see what i could extract from it and then come back and talk to you guys and have a discussion on it so that's what I have so I thought that was pretty good and I wanted to you know share that with you guys so we'll have to look forward to the episode one which is next Wednesday July 6th so get ready for a new season Married at First Sight season 15 San Diego so I hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye